everybody. Welcome back. Um, this is a Create With Me. I'm Gina, and you're in the Firefly 67 studio today. So I want to take the time and say welcome to all my new subscribers, and welcome back to um, those of you who have been with me for, for a while. I really do appreciate you guys uh, supporting me and my channel and my love of crafting, all kinds of crafting. <laughs> So, um, today, what are we doing today? Well, today is a design team project for my porch prints. And let me just put that there. Um, and I will put the dis uh, in the description box this kit in case you are interested in purchasing this. So, what are we making? These are little mini books. Aren't they adorable? And so today, I'm going to show you guys how quick and easy these are to make. And aren't they just precious? Because if you're like me, I am charm challenged. So this is going to be um, probably going on a spine of a journal, is my thinking, in place of a charm. Because I cannot make charms. <laughs> But I love these. They are just so sweet. And I'll show you the inside. Look at that. You've got all the little pages. They're just a really sweet addition to our journals. And I think you're going to really enjoy this project. So apologies again. I've got printing going on in the background, but I just can't help it, guys. I've got to get on with um, with things. So, when you print this out, this is what you're going to get. You get your covers, which you're going to want to print onto cardstock, okay? You're going to get instructions, and I just print this on, on my cheap copy paper. And then you're going to get a full page of these. Now, I've used half the page in this, you know, the first one. So you'll get a full page of these, which will create two mini books. And I always put those on. I'm using 120 GSM paper um, for my print-offs, guys. And then she also gives you a sheet of extra papers, which are lines. So if you don't want the decorative, you can just fill it with these. And aren't these just precious? So, think about this, guys. Um, what a nice little thing to give. I, this is the other thing I think I'm going to do. I'm going to get some keychain and make some little mini junk journal keychains to give to um, to friends. I think that would be a sweet idea to use this. I can see this and I'll bet you Stephanie's probably already on top of this. I can see these um, at Christmas. How sweet are those going to be um, on the tree? as little Christmas junk journals. So yes, oh, so many uses, guys. So, so many. And these are just beautiful. And it's such a quick and easy project. Honestly, if you've got um, young girls that you want to make something with, this is a really, really good little project for, um, for some, uh, you know, Girl Scouts and all that kind of stuff. So let's just get going. Um, Okay, I've, I've already cut out, and this is what it's going to look like when you cut it out, and she tells you in the, um, the paper where you want to score it, so I've done all that, and then you're just going to take that, fold it over, and put your glue. Now, I recommend the 3-in-1 because it's going to glue quick and if you're like me I'm not a patient person so you can just get on with it <laughs> so I would recommend using that now after you've done that 
and you've secured that down, you're going to see there's just a little bit of an overlap. Just come back and with the scissors you can just snip that off. Um, I won't do that yet because I haven't glued that one. But these have already been done. So I think this one we will work on to today. Okay? So the next thing you are going to want to do, um, and like I said, the instructions are all in here, so don't don't be worried that you got to keep coming back to my video because it's um, she's giving you the directions for it. And once you've done it, I don't think you it's so easy. I think you'll you'll pick up on it. But I like little projects like this because when you're in a bit of a crafting funk, as you guys know, I have been this last uh, week really. Um, often it's nice to just go back to these easy no-brainer projects because when I'm creating a journal it takes a lot of time to work out the design the order things are going to be in because I don't I try to make my journals I don't have a set formula is what I'm trying to say and I've told you guys this in the past I know that if I did um, I could make my life a lot easier but I don't see for me there wouldn't be any fulfillment in that because <clears throat> I need to create, and in doing that, I do create a lot more work for myself, and I know I do, but but that's just how I am made. Um, and because of that, I, um, I need a break from it because it, it just overloads my brain. All right, so I've got these cut into strips as directed in the instructions, and now on the little um, page. Just go down and score these. So I'll do that while I continue to tell you my boring story. So I need projects like this and I am so happy to see um, these kinds of um, digitals coming out. I think there's been a real gap in the market for this because um, if you're starting out and you don't have all the supplies it is nice when you find somebody who has got <clears throat> things who give you some interesting elements without having to go out and spend a fortune on, um, you know, supplies. And like the My Porch Print um, little clutch purse that she does, that is precious. Now, if you had to do that from scratch, you'd need something that gives you that scalloped edge. And I'm just so, so glad to see um, designers uh, like Stephanie doing this kind of thing because um, it's very overwhelming to start in the crafting um, community. And I'm sure you've all gone through that. I still go through it, and I've done this my whole, well, you know, most of my life I've been a crafter, but when I sit down to do things, I can often find it very overwhelming, and I'm not great with written instructions, I'll be honest. That's why I thought, well, I'm going to, it's very simple and straightforward, but if you're like me, I learn by visual and doing. Um, reading something, I'm useless at, which is probably why I, you know, there was a lot of subjects in school I wasn't great with. Um, sorry guys, I'm going to have to listen for the door because I've got something coming. So I may have to shut, shut this off. So anyways, I'm sorry, you're going to need to fold this accordion style. What does that mean? Um, think of it in terms of uh, mountains and valleys. So this is your mountain, this is your valley. And then you, on your score line, this is why it's so important to score that first, guys. Um, but you'll hear a lot of people say accordion, and that's what they're talking about. Because when it's done, it's like an accordion. Um, so 
so yeah, these are just, I just love these. And you could tuck these in a little pocket. There's just so many uses I can, you know, your brain just like, oh, like there's so many things I can do with this. <laughs> so you'll be seeing a lot of these in my um, future projects, I think. I love them. I love them, love them, love them. So... In the studio, what's happening? Well, I counted yesterday, and I've got 13 journals that I've started, and none of them are anywhere near being done, so that's a bit of a worry. I've got to, I don't know, yesterday was just useless. I had um, an appointment yesterday I had to go to, and so by the time I got out of there, I was so tired, and I just thought, well, I'll just spend the day... Um, catching up on tasks around the house and trying to get a little bit organized because my craft room's gotten out of hand again. I don't know what, what's up. I, it's about every two weeks I have to come back through and it feels like I have to do a clear, a clear out about every two weeks and I don't, I don't know. I just, it gets on top of me when I'm in the middle of, uh, orders, you know, you just create and create and create and you're not having the time to really put things back where they belong. So so yesterday I just kind of caught up on things that I should have been doing and I started trying to get things in mind for when Jared gets here um, that I need to have, you know, bought in advance and so on. So it was a good, it was a productive day, I guess, from that point of view. But frustrating when you, when you look, when you come in and you see 13 journals sitting here and you're thinking, oh no. <laughs> um, okay, so I've got those all done and I'll show you again. This is how they're going to look when you get done. So now just make sure you've got them all facing in the right direction. And then just don't do anything with the, the front and the end one because those, I, I'll show you what I did with those. So just take your little glue stick, and I'd recommend on this you use a glue stick because you can, that way you can move the page to line it up. And don't worry if it's not exact. We can always come back and ink any of the white edges that might be showing because you know with these things when you cut you know we measure and everything but they th sometimes things are off a little bit but that's okay it's handmade we're not looking for perfection so I've got the last the third one I'm just going to glue that to the end of the second one So you've ended up with this big booklet. And where's my little... Ah, okay. So um, I've tweaked mine slightly different. Um, I liked the idea of, in the instructions, she's got you holding these together with a um, clothespin, and then you're going to glue this and back it, you know, the, into your spine. You're going to glue that down. But I liked also gluing this to the front and back cover. So it, this is where it gets a little bit messy with your glue, but we got to do it, guys. So go ahead and um, get it together. Make sure you've got it facing the right the right way so that you can glue this inside. Hold that together and put some this or the Fabri-Tac or strong glue. Get, get yourself a strong glue because you want this to glue down quickly and then hold that together and just run you a little bead because it's going to really um, hold itself in there once you've got those little pages adhered to the front and back. But, so what I did is I just stuck that in there, line it up so it's kind of even with the top and the bottom. And then it's going to shift around, but don't worry. What you want to do now is just put a little bit of the glue stick on this front page and 
and try to center that. It's a little fiddly, you know, when you first do it, but then you're, you're like, oh, this is, this is easy. Then push this back down because that's going to have shifted, and then do the same thing back here. you got to kind of move quick because you don't want your 3-in-1 to dry, but um, you do want to make sure you line this up, otherwise it's going to be a little bit wonky. So just push that. Okay, so those are both. Just reinforce that, and I even took my little... Um, scoring tool and just made sure that that was down in that crease and then push that down in there and hold it. Okay and then let that dry and then if you want to come back over with a little bit of um, well, let me do it I think it's it's held enough just to get some of those white edges from not, you know, so they're not showing. Just take a little bit of that ink and go over that. And do the little edges if you want to here. That's the good thing about it. It's a, it's a very vintage print, so this is perfect for that. Um, if you need to put a little more ink. I love these. Aren't they just precious? Look at that. Oh, and you open it up and you got your, look at that, little lined papers. Oh, how sweet. I love these. Thank you, Stephanie. That's just so stinking clever. Okay, so what did I, okay, so the, at this point, you know, if you want to tuck that in your little junk journal, how cute. Um, I just found the center and uh, I got my Irish linen thread and I just found the center of it and wrapped some of this. Now I'm not going to add the beads to this one because that's when it really started getting fiddly. Honestly, it's such an easy project. This was the most difficult part right here for me, was putting those little beads on it. But you don't have to do that. That's just purely, you know, I just thought it was kind of cute to have. Because I want this to be on the spine of the, um, the journal. So snip that off. And then I'm just going to tie this. You see what I mean? You need, you need about five hands doing this. <laughs> well, because I want it to be snug, but there we go. And then I'm just going to put a little. So the, you know, at this point, I'm going to I'm not going to snip that off because I don't know how I'm going to attach these. I haven't worked that out in my brain yet. Um, it's going to no doubt be one of those little Tim Holtz, but I may come back and add um, some little beads to it. So that's why I'm not going to snip these. Um, at this point I want to leave enough left over so that I have the option if I want to put some beads on there I can if I want to leave it and just tie it off I can do that but isn't that adorable so that is my create with me today guys um, as I said I'll put the link to um, Stephanie's shop in the description box below and um, so if you're looking for something else to add to your journals, these are really, really quick and fun. And look at, this is what you end up getting, is, um, is all four of those designs. And I know she's got other, um, I believe she's got another kit in her shop. I'm, so you've got, there's quite a few to choose from. So check those out. And um, what's happening? Well, Saturday... I will be participating in a um, collaboration with uh, 
Dawn H Creates, and we are doing a Christmas in July. So I hope you guys will stay tuned and join that. There's there's quite a few gals that are participating in that. And um, let's see, that is Saturday. And let me just tell you guys, that's going to be every Saturday in July. We're going to have one the 6th, 13th, 20th, and 27th. Um, I will be posting every Saturday a Christmas project. Um, and let's see, we are next week. Be looking for my um, challenge that I've set up, which is five on a dime. With I've um, uh, got a couple of really talented ladies that are joining me with that. That's going to be a monthly challenge. Um, so that's coming up next week. And I'm hoping to have a couple of Create With Me's um, videoed and, you know, put back for you guys for the two weeks I'm not going to be here. So I'll try to do that. I don't know if I'll get a chance to do two per week. I may just be able to put one per week. But yeah, I hope everybody will understand. It's it's priority and family comes first. So, um Anyways, I will be around, and I will be hopefully completing some of these journals. Oh, gosh, I really got to get on the ball. But I hope you guys have enjoyed today, and I hope everybody is enjoying summer. And you guys stay safe out there, and I'll see you back here soon. Bye!